This is Steve Ridgell, and I want to talk today about when it's okay to do what God hates. When a faithful Christian has to do something God hates, and God's okay with it. Now, you, you may be watching this, and I know most people that watch these are Christians, but you may be watching this, and you don't necessarily believe in God, or you're not a Jesus follower, or you don't believe the Bible's true or always true. But you may find this interesting. Because in Malachi 2, God is very clear. God hates divorce. And in Matthew 19, Jesus talks about when a Christian can get divorced. He says, don't divorce your mate unless it is because they're unfaithful. But if you leave your wife, divorce your wife, and marry someone else, you commit adultery. So Jesus is pretty hard about when it's acceptable to divorce. Only if your mate has, is going to be unfaithful with someone stays that way. But God hates divorce. So let me be upfront about one thing real quick. We believe in fighting for your marriage. I believe in fighting for your marriage. Everybody has those times when you need to really put some focus on your marriage. And I believe God can heal anything, even a shattered, broken, ruined marriage. I believe God can heal. And so I want to be upfront real clear. Please fight for your marriage. God hates divorce. It is not in God's will for you to get divorced. God wants you to be married and stay married. And sometimes that requires hard things. It requires hard work. Sometimes the husband or the wife has to do some serious repenting and change their ways and live out that repentance. Sometimes one of the mates has to do some hard forgiving to say, we're going to work this out and I'm going to forgive you and that it's hard and difficult and so I know sometimes it's hard. But here's the thing about healing a marriage. I believe God can fix anything except marriage is a little different. And here's why. If you are both faithful, committed Christians, God can fix your marriage. I don't care how shattered it is. But if one of you, for instance, doesn't want to repent, you have other people in your life and you're not going to quit that and you don't want to quit that or you want to run off with someone else. God's not going to fix a marriage where one of the people doesn't want to live faithful. It takes God and both in a couple of a marriage to make it. And so when you have somebody that won't repent or you have somebody that refuses to forgive, nope, I don't care how hard you try, I don't care what you change, I'm not going to forgive you, then that marriage may not make it. And if someone insists on running off with someone, Jesus says, you know, if they abandon your marriage for some, they abandon you for someone else. They go with someone else. They are involved with someone else and they will not repent. And then you can divorce, even though it's something God hates. Because here's the thing about God. God won't force you to be faithful to him or to anyone. It's a free will, free choice if you want to follow Jesus. So, don't get confused. There are faithful, dedicated Christians who end up in a place that they never wanted to be and that was not in God's plan and that God hated. Not that they're perfect, but it was not always their choice. So fight for your marriage. Do the repenting you need to do. Do the forgiving you need to do. But sometimes as a faithful Christian, you cannot make your mate stay in a marriage they don't want to be in. They're not just being unfaithful to you. They're also being unfaithful to God. And that's how faithful Christians end up in something that God hates. And he will redeem their life and give them purpose. But don't be confused. That's not God's plan. And he hates it when you have to go there.